Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna watch episode 9 of Flower of Evil. Before we start, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also check out my links in the description box below. Now the last episode ended on the real Big Song finally waking up from his coma. Jiwon went to see Kim Mo Jin in his house and she finds Hyun Su and Hesu and they're obviously gonna clash and it's really really getting more interesting by the episode so, so yeah without further ado let's get to the new episode what is this a romantic dinner is that celebrating their fifth anniversary in the new house and he says he doesn't love her shut the front door oh no it's the beginning she was pregnant with una he feels Anna kicking. He feels her kicking. Oh, he feels her kicking. Oh, they moved in when she was still pregnant with Anna. Oh, more suspicions. Sister-in-law. Oh, she doesn't remember her. Now she does. <laughs> First time meeting. They are siblings. Oh, she's getting more info from them. Is he gonna give her a sedative? Is he gonna sedate her? <laughs> They're being so suspicious. She's already suspecting all of them. He's been in a coma for 15 years. Oh ma. He's calling out for her. What's gonna happen now to Hyunsu? It wasn't your fault. Please, please tell me why, why she thinks it's her fault. What happened? Please, please show it to me this episode. Cause I'm going crazy not knowing. Oh, he's asking about Hyunsu. He's not gonna be happy when he finds out that he took his place. Shut up, Mujin. She's asking her if she wants to... If she wants the accomplice to be caught because she thinks... That Hyunsu is the accomplice or she wants to think that he's the accomplice. And she wants to see how Hyunsu is going to respond to that. Because if the accomplice is her brother, then she doesn't want him to get caught, but if he's not, he would want him to get caught, right? Oh, she's doubting him even more. Don't have another attack, Hyunsu. Hyunsu, don't have another episode. Please don't. Oh. Oh, oh, she's, she's, she's talking, she's talking about when he took the blame for her and she's putting alarm bells in Jiwon's head. She was going to talk, he didn't want her to admit it. She wants to use hypnosis in order to try to remember the accomplice. What is she planning on doing? Is she gonna try to kill herself? Because she's been waiting this whole time just in case Hyunsu needs her. Is she gonna kill herself? Because no, Andwe. Oh, she's trying to see if he's the one who took the car keys from his father the same way that they concluded so as to know if it's really him or not. He noticed that she took off the wedding ring. Oh my god, being in a coma for 15 years, it's gotta be rough. Because he was probably busy with his new job to care about his own son. Yeah, he was busy. No, oh, stop lying. Wait, is he gonna be paralyzed because of what happened to him before the coma or because of the coma? What? Wait, wait, is he, is he, is he planning on killing Hyunsu and then making Hisong take his place as Jiwon's husband and Anna's dad? No, 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 no. Oh god, he's planning on it. She's throwing words at him that have two sides. Yes, he did. He felt his love for you. He just, he's unable to realize it at the moment. Is it a workshop? The background noise from the video? Is it a workshop? Oh, he didn't analyze it full yet. There was another man's voice. Please don't be Hyunsu. Don't be Hyunsu. Hyunsu's voice? No way. No way. Who is the accomplice? Who is that? Okay, he's a barman. 
an ice pick. The barman, he was, he was using an ice pick. Is he the accomplice? Wait. That's the accomplice. Finally gonna go to that bar. He's gonna go back. He's probably gonna question that barman. When is she gonna tell him that she knows that he's Hyunsu? What is she talking about? Is she slowly preparing for the breakup? She really wants to break up. No, she really is preparing to break up with him. Breaking up is gonna make him realize that he really loves her. It's gonna make him realize it. Oh, poor baby. Look, I understand where she's coming from, but I still want to slap her. He's the one who made her able to endure everything that she saw from the cases that she worked on. But now that she's unable to be with him anymore, it's affecting her and her work. The accomplice. And he says he doesn't love her now? Look at this. Look at this face. This is the face of a man who's madly in love with his wife. So the best gift he can give her is no flowers, no roses, no chocolate. It's finding her the accomplice. So at the beginning, he wanted to find the accomplice because he wanted, you know, to end everything. Now he wants to find the accomplice because he wants to make Jiwon happy. He's trying his best to get back in her good favors. She wants you to take her home, my dude. Take her home. She doesn't want to develop attachments to him again. He sent her messages and she answered none of them. That's tough. This whole time he knew that she's gonna be with him. He knew that she's gonna be with him so he took her for granted. But now that she's talking about breaking up and leaving him, it's not just because she's important to help with his identity he's finally realizing how much he loves her how precious she is to him and he doesn't want to lose her baby steps starting to realize his love for her baby steps wait 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 she's gonna be the she's gonna be the trap no 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 she oh she's gonna put herself in danger and it's probably gonna reach Hyunsu. Something is definitely gonna happen to her. Ah, Bichita. I'm starting to like the dynamic between Hesu and Mujin. And I hope that none of them gets hurt and that Kim Mujin really redeems himself because I want Hesu to be happy. And I think Mujin is the one able to make her happy. Hyunsu and Hesu suffered so much because of their father. It's not fair. Oh, okay. She's telling him, don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up. She's not the same Hisu from the past. She suffers from insomnia, obviously depression. <sighs> I hate it here. Oh, he's going to the old bar. When the barman was picking the ice, someone behind Hyunsu and his father hit their chair and his jacket fell. He reached down to pick it up and give it to Jumin Suk. He was wearing a hack, so He's the accomplice, but who is he? I don't think it's Hisung's dad because he looked to be young. He looked to be like not buff, not like an old guy. I don't know. What is that tattoo? Is he a member of a gang? His father was a special guest in the bar. Special client. A regular client. He definitely recognized the voice. Did, did his father make that pen? It's metal. Or was it the one he made? Wait, is he... Is he killing victims on his own or was it a gang of serial killers? No, no. No, no, he's probably paying someone. Just one person, right? Both of them are getting close. No. No, 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 no. Ah. Baby Hyunsu. What? So it was a whole gang that was working on it, like one picking up the victims and luring them in, and then they deliver the victims to Duminsuk for money. 
And it's it's the people who who picked up Inho, the little boy from episode one. He's on. Oh, he's trying to move. What person? What, what was, Who is who? Who is he gonna meet? Poor baby. What is this phone? Is he connected to them? He went to meet them on his own. Are you kidding me? Hyunsu. Something is definitely gonna happen. Oh no. Hyunsu went to meet this employment agency and that Ajima went to meet Jiwon. All of these events are go making me go out of my mind. He went on his own. Why? Okay, now I'm, I'm getting worried. What's their connection to Dumin Su? I knew it. I knew it. They they pick up victims who have no parents, who are runaways, who are nomads, and they give him to Mi Dumin Suk for him to kill them, and then he pays for their work. Human trafficking business. Don't tell me she ran. She's she's probably gonna jump to her death. Bye. Oh, he definitely trafficked them. When is she gonna tell him that she knows that he's Hyunsu? He loves you. He loves her. Poor Juwon. She misses him. What? What's this? What's he gonna do? What is this? Oh no! 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 Hyunsu! What? I knew it. Human traffickers. Oh no, Jiwon! No, 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 no! No, Jiwon! No, not Jiwon. <sighs> Why did she have to call him now? I trust you. I trust you. <coughs> yes, yes, she misses you and you miss her. You miss her and you love her. episode this episode she definitely she definitely cannot live without him she cannot break up with him no breaking up she's gonna go back to the police station and she's gonna br just snatch her ring and put it on no breaking up for those two none so that's a lot to take in not only did Dumin Suk just you know snatch people victims from you know nowhere he actually hired a trafficking office that sells humans. They actually snatch up people who are runaways, who have no one to look for them, who are just basically nomads, like no one is gonna look for them, no one cares about them. Human trafficking, like in prostitution, but instead, well, prostitution might be a part of their job, but for Dumin Suk, they traffic people for him to kill and the accomplice as well it's not just Dumin and Suk and both of them Yunsu and Jiwon came to the same conclusion the same office Whew. and he song he woke up finally after 14 years of coma and he wants to go meet someone who is that someone he wants to meet it's getting more interesting and I am more excited to find out what happens next so yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel and check the links in the description box below. And I checked, most of you guys who watch my channel are not subscribed. It'll be of tremendous help for you guys to subscribe to my channel. It's free, it's easy, and it will help my channel grow. So yeah, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you on our next video. Bye!